Happy Friday. Wait all week for this day. Our next guest rolls out the red carpet to feed your stomach and your soul. Welcome celebrity chef, Dr. Frederick Jacobs, who is a pastor, as we said, chef, hey. and the founder of Celebrity wow. Soul Food in Ocala, Florida. I mean, what, what can't you do? Thanks so much, chef, for starting your day with us. Um, it looks beautiful, but I just want to get straight to it. What are you serving up today? Well, first of all, we're at Celebrity Soul Food at our corporate training store in Old Cali, Florida, where we bring all our executive chefs through to train and develop with our executive chef, Chef Gusto. What I'm preparing today is an authentic dish, something that our mother staples is some amazing oxtails. But what take ours to that next level oh. is we use an authentic veal uh, demi-gloss um, and, and to elevate. Uh, and then, of course, our pearl rice. And then, of course, we have some Asian breads or what have you. So just want to show you a couple things that we're doing. But you're talking about four to six hours of, of simmering and cooking uh, in an amazing way with some great flavors. And that's what I'm going to present this morning to you. How many hours mm -hmm. of simmering did you just say for those oxtails? Because, brother, I'm going to tell you, you're a pastor. Listen, and I'm going to tell you no right now, when it comes to oxtails, that, that is a blessing. You said a minimum of four, but what? Well, you want to go to four to six hours. I do want to show you uh, this amazing dimmy that we made with the, uh, with the authentic veal that really elevates the soulful classic. So you think those are authentic juices. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, mm. obviously scale it up by using a, a veal gloss uh, that is amazing a dimmy. Uh, and so I want to show you these oxtails. We use larger oxtails, two inches or larger, to make sure that you uh, really get that fulfilling uh, thirst of the oxtail. Mm, mm, mm. Chef, this is my yeah. favorite. Oxtail is look just that, something I, I just, when I first, Ooh. right, look at all that Ooh. meat and just delicious. It looks meat. so juicy. Mm -hmm. But can't, right, but Chef, not everybody can cook oxtail, right? No, they can't. Mm -mm. Well, you know, one of the things that we're going to be doing, excuse me, so sorry, one of the things that we're going to be doing on our site is we're going to be dropping recipes that are authentic, but also some easy processes and steps. Because if you got your good roaster, got your good flavors, and we have our CSF seasoning that we're going to be distributing and putting out, it makes it a lot easier on your everyday individual mm. who is cooking at home and maybe not have the full skill set of grandma and mom. However, <laughs> you can still enjoy a wonderful meal. And if all else fails, and nice you want way to come in anyway, you just need to come on in into a local celebrity soul food. That's what we got to yeah, do. Yeah, tell, tell me about we'll Celebrity do. Soul Food. So this is this a chain of restaurants? I know you just opened up one in uh, Florida. Is this a chain of restaurants or around this, the nation? What's this, your concept? Listen, we are the national, first national soul food chain in America. We just broke history. We have 50 restaurants that are in development. We're doing a 200 store rollout, and we just opened our flagship training center. So not, all, not only are we open to the public, but also our chefs, and uh, I didn't franchise these come to this local store in Ocala, Florida to get trained by our amazing executive chef, Chef wow. Gusto, who you met along the way. Wow. You'll keep seeing him in French and classical and train, as well as our amazing executive chefs here at our flagship location and training store. And of course, mm. you're going with Dr. J. All right. Well, just let us know when it comes to Atlanta. I'm not worried about Mike in L.A. Um, chef, the menu, though, <laughs> let's let's focus in there because it does feature this elevated soul food. You got seafood, pineapple bowl, gold dusted, mm. VIP wings, of course, red velvet, bunt cake you're serving up um, as you make the glazed oxtails. Can you help us out, um, those of us who aren't as savvy in the kitchen? What is this elevated soul food? Well, one of the things when we say elevated, it's a couple of dynamics that come with saying the words elevated. The first thing of it is, it's not only uh, the connecting to the traditional dynamics of the dish of what I call Grandma 2.0. First, grabbing our authentic traditionalist and soul food, but then to elevate meaning, using more of the premium oils, things that are, that are better, uh, are healthier for you in your systems, meaning we are a pork-free zone. Uh, we have no pork in any of our dishes. I I'm sorry, mm. I love the pig, but he has to go. We use a lot of broth, chicken broth, turkey broth, uh, beef bacon, etc. Different dynamics that you can do to elevate and still keep the authenticity of the flavor of the dish mm. without using so much poorly mm. uh, choices of uh, of, of ingredients that will uh, actually hurt you uh, for your health goals. The second thing we do is, man, our chef skill sets, 
when it comes not only to the skill set of cooking and preparation, but it also in our plating, we elevate the dish. We make sure that if you want collard greens, if you want fried chicken, but you can come right out the news yes. channel with your colleagues, you can have girls be out, business meeting, and still have authentic soul food and be in an elevated atmosphere mm. that is just second to none. So we focus on number one, mm. the product itself. Number two, we focus, mm. we focus on the atmosphere. Where do we put our restaurants? Mm. We make sure that it is represented like all of the other great cultures of cuisines that it's put in prime locations. And that's one of the emphasis that we're doing is make sure that people understand that soul food belong on the top shelf and on the top level. Thank the you. Man. He's preaching all right, this morning. Uh, let's elevate it. I know I said wow and the name of, G oh, I'm about to, I'm about to have him. <laughs> shamalama, shamalama. Yes, um, let's yeah. elevate and focus back on them oxtails. What have you done for us so far? <laughs> I, you know that. Okay, already. so what I did is I took your oxtails. <laughs> I've actually plated your oxtails. I've then also took some mm. amazing flavor and juices of the veal gloss, and I literally drizzled on the oxtails, creates your gravy that is soaked and cooked in. Now you're then showing I use off. What is called you're just Asian showing off. Bread. They are amazing flavor, great garnishing. They are edible or what have you. But again, that's what other your dish with an amazing uh, perlo saffron rice, what have you. And it's ready to go, you know? Now, last little touch of celebrities, though, is what would it be without a little bit of gold on it? Yeah. No, you didn't. No, is that really? Hold you on. No, not the gold now, that's dust. Elevation. Not the gold yes, dust he on did. the auntie. <laughs> now, Don't waste so a that's drop a, of that's that. in a pan. What are you, uh, do you sear that? Do you bake it? How, what, 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 it's in a pan right there. It, what, Tell us, you know, one of the things you're going to do, man, you know, it's how my grandmother taught me. The first thing you're going to do is we're going to sear them oxtails off, lock all those juices and seasons and flavors into the meat. Mm. Then we build our roux and our dipping, but then we allow the roaster process to take its place about four to six hours. But before mm -hmm. you can start letting the four to six hours mm -hmm. happen, mm -hmm. we have to deal with the protein mm -hmm. itself, lock in the seasoning, lock in the juices into the meat. Then let the meat Ooh. and your flavors come all together. We infuse a Caribbean and soulful dynamic together. Elevator, let it cook. Once it cooks <laughs> down, mm. or have you use those same flavors with your veal stock and in gloss, and then mm. you want to then start plating your dish in six hours, man. I'm gonna tell you, we put out almost 300 covers uh, the other day. You're ready to roll out a whole lot of oxtails with a whole lot of flavors. Mm. Let me tell you line. something, Ooh. chef. Look here, he he's mm. a he's a pastor, but it sounds like a whole lot of sinning in that dish. That is unbelievable. <laughs> I I wish I could just take a bite right now. I do want to know what mm. came first. We're almost out of time, Chef. Um, were you a preacher or a, a chef first? Because you you meld them beautifully, just like the ingredients in your dish. Well, I'm gonna tell you. I, listen, I don't think you can pastor if you can't cook. You know? <laughs> hey, hey, <man. laughs> That's true. Hey, no, wow. Well, eat, eat, eat the right I, dish, I, you done I fell out. Right? Right. I grew up around food my entire life. And uh, food is something that has always brought people together. And that's why I really love it. Man, it is ministry all in itself. You can go inside of a community such as Ocala, a diversity of people, and you bring everybody to the table. We may not agree on X, Y, and Z, but the one thing we can agree is that we want our communities better, and we can do it over some great food and have great conversations. So when people come into our restaurant, you see the phones go down, you see people start watching TV, they're talking again, they're engaging with one another, they're engaging with family, they're engaging with community, mm. and they're eating a soulful dish that don't belong just to one culture. It now belongs to us all saying, let's bring this soul love together. Let's have uh, a great community. And that's what's happening here. And to me, that's my ministry. The restaurant now is my pulpit. Hey, I, I don't not only want to go to the restaurant, I want to go to your church too, because it sounds like you can preach. Then too. after the, the preaching and after church, you know they got the meal after church, and I know it's going to be some good food after church. In the basement. You know, we talk yeah. about Sister That's Clara with going. her chicken dishes. Uh uh, we want Dr. <laughs> Frederick Jacobs and his dishes that he <laughs> cooks up himself, because we need you to preach and we need you to cook for us. Because I'm coming to your church, I'm part of your congregation. All right, well, let the church say we're gonna pray over them. Mm hmm. Jesus, well, mm -hmm. there it is. Dr. Mm -hmm. Frederick Jacobs, the celebrity Amen. soul food. Yeah. Got to get to the meal real quick. We appreciate you spending some uh, time with us on Foodie Friday with us. Um, you've been a blessing in so many ways, more that ways than one. Quick prayer, yeah. too. Thank you Appreciate you, Chef. Mm -hmm. I want to get to the food. Send those oxtails now. <laughs> Me, too. Amen. Amen.